Hey guys, Old School Brian here. Um, today I'm going to do an unboxing for you. Um, I recently picked this system up and, and uh, I did a video on it in one of my pickups, but um, I didn't open it up or anything and uh, I decided to do an unboxing for you since everything's original and um, it pretty much comes the way it came from the factory. I mean, the bags are a little torn open, stuff like that, but um, everything's there. So, you know, it's just so you know if you're buying a system, complete system, um, what to expect to come out of this box. The system's actually missing one piece to it, um, which is no big deal because you don't really need it. Um, but I'm going to get started now, so enjoy. Just move the camera down for you guys. All right. This is my Sega CD system that I got. All right. Um, the Sega CD was released in the United States in, I believe, October of 1993. I might be off, but I, I'm, I believe I'm right. Um, it was originally released in Japan in 1992 um, as the Mega CD, is what it was called. Box. Back, front, sides, nothing special. Alright, so when you open up your Sega CD console, your box, this is pretty much what you're looking at. It's got a top cover with books inserted in here. Um, the entire top piece is just to hold these books and stuff. Alright, the model I got comes with all, all this. Alright, so you got some stuff here. Pop that off. Alright, you got your instruction manual for your classic games. You got Streets of Rage, Revenge of Shinobi, Columns, and Golden Axe. These all come with the system, so this is the instruction manual for them. The system also comes with Sherlock Holmes. That's the instruction manual for Sherlock Holmes. Sophies. It's the instruction manual. And that's the actual game. And I haven't opened any of these, so I really hope when I open it that the game's actually there. Yes, it is. So the game's there. That's what it should look like. It's the back. Same as the front. Alright, and then you got your games. The four games come all together. So you open that up, you should have Sherlock Holmes on the left, and then your games, your other four games on the right hand side. Alright, so it comes like that, and then on the back is Sherlock Holmes. Alright, this, this comes with two CDs. Uh, I believe one is an audio CD, and the other one is rock paintings. It's a sampler of music and graphics. Okay. In your front, it's hot list. Back, rock paintings. All right. Let me take this off. Put this down right here. You have your power cable. Now this system was remade, I believe, two other times. The last time it was called the CDX. Um, so that's your power adapter. Standard Model 1 Sega CD power adapter. Some more wires. I should have a plate, cover plate in here somewhere. Yep, you got another cover plate. Still sealed. Alright, and you have your Sega CD instruction manuals and stuff. This is kind of funny. It's the original receipt for the paperwork and warranty. Looks like the guy that originally purchased it, he paid $296.80, which is a pretty good deal because I believe when this first, first released, it was selling for $399.99 which is 
one of the reasons why they had to eventually come out with the CDX was, was both systems in one because you had to buy your Genesis to hook on to this and I'll show you how that happens. And you got a little Sherlock Holmes book and some other miscellaneous cards and stuff. And you have your actual Sega CD user manual. Really too much good stuff in here. She's telling you how to hook everything up and how to connect the Genesis to it and hook your phones up and all that stuff. Somewhere in there it tells you um, it has a warning about playing these CD games on the TV that you can get seizures and stuff like that. It's pretty crazy. I actually should read it, but I don't know exactly where it was in here. Alright, take the system out the bag, get the box out of the way, and then that's your Sega CD. Side load, front loading, should have two lights right here, one's power, one's for reset I believe. We're ready and access, they both light up, I think one lights up red, one lights up green. It's the top where you'd put your Sega Genesis, right here. The piece that I'm missing, there's a metal plate that goes on here. Um, that's the only part I'm missing. I don't know exactly what it's for because um, I'm sure the Genesis, so I'm going to try it in one second to see if the Genesis actually fits on here, but I don't think it's, maybe it was for heat or something like that between the systems. And you got your hookups in the back, it's your standard hookups. You got the pin right here that you would hook your Genesis to. That's the bottom of the unit if you need help. All this stuff. All right, let me grab this Genesis right here. Now your Genesis, the regular Genesis, you have on the back of it a cover plate. You gotta pop that off, just like that. You have to take this red piece off that says, ironically, do not remove. But well, we're gonna remove that. And then you got your pin or your chip for your Genesis right there. So you're gonna take that, put it on there, carefully slide it into place. And that's how you hook it up. And you got your nice beefy system to uh, play all your Sega CD games on. And then you play your Genesis games on. I believe, I don't know for sure, but I think I have to have yeah, you, you still have to plug both of them in, which kind of sucks because, you know, it's so many plugs coming out of this machine to hook up. Now, I also believe you can hook up uh, the two other Genesis systems on the top, and you have to have three separate power cords going to this. So, it's a real beefy system. Um, one cool thing about Sega CD games is they were the first games to put the game rating on it for, you know, teens, children, everyone. Um, they made a lot of good titles. Lunar um, was one of them, probably one of the best RPGs. Then you had Sega uh, Sonic CD, which was really good. Um, I believe they made 149 titles all together for the system. Um, back. One of the reasons why Sega failed was because they made it so easy to make games for this that um, a lot of cheap games started coming out and at one point uh, I believe the industry started blaming Sega because of the CD console for uh, violence in video games. Um, so they were quite worried about that. I wish Sega would come back, bring out another system, you know, because they had a lot of great games. Um, but, you know, as of right now, it doesn't look like that's going to happen anytime soon. Um, let me put these right back. But that's pretty much what your unboxing should look like when you get one. The console complete should pretty much look like that, except that you would have the metal plate on there, which, as you can see, from me just doing it, you don't need it. It basically covers this entire area, and I'm thinking it's probably just 
for heat between the systems. Probably some sort of heat shield, and that's why um, it's there. But there you go, guys. That's my unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's probably a little long, and I'm going to get this all hooked up, and I'm going to try to play some games on it. All right, I'll see you guys later.